Hello, this is Ed. In this segment on the Part Sim Circuit Simulator, I'm going to take a look at the transient source pulse output. I already have a circuit loaded, and I'm going to double click on the source and choose the transient source pulse. In this example, I have the initial value set to zero, the pulse value set to one. The delay time is zero seconds, but I'm going to change that to two milliseconds. The rise time and fall time are both one microsecond with a pulse width of one microsecond and a period that I'll set to two milliseconds. So with a pulse width of one millisecond and a period of two milliseconds, this should give me a two millisecond square wave. I now go to the transient response, pick the transient tab, and I need a fairly long period of time. 50 is probably too much. Let's try 10 milliseconds with a time step of 100 microseconds, that is. And from the simulation output, we can see that we have a delay of 2 milliseconds, a pulse period of 2 milliseconds, and a pulse width of 1 millisecond, giving, giving us a 50% duty cycle. And that concludes our look at the pulse source for the part sim circuit simulator.